We do begin, though, with some new developments in the search for Glee actress Naya Rivera. At the time of this show's taping, the sheriff announced a body was found in the lake, but it's not clear yet if it's Naya or someone else. They are holding a press conference at 2 p.m. Pacific time. Now, the news comes after Naya's family went to the lake this weekend. In new exclusive photos from DailyMail.com, her father, mother, and brother apparently coordinated a search for Naya, who went missing last Wednesday. Over the weekend, the sheriff's department warned fans not to search for the actress on their own, saying they do not want to have to rescue them as well. But Naya's former co-star Heather Morris tweeted the sheriff, saying she wants to conduct her own search, saying, I understand your team is doing everything in their power, but we are feeling helpless, powerless, and want to help in any way. Yeah, Jeff, you know, just again, we when we first discussed this story, just imagining her son calling out for her for hours absolutely just crushes your heart. Um, and I know, you know, the the law enforcement said that he is uh, not harmed, but psychologically there has to be some harm there and uh, just really grave details. This is this is a very tragic story. Yeah, you know, we talked about this last week, Sam, and I'm kind of in the same place. You know, I have a three year old son as well as a one year old son. But the point I'm getting at is her son was four. My son would totally know what's going on. He'd be able to explain to what happened. So I do feel for the son in this situation. I think he's going to remember this for the rest of his life. I feel for the family, but also I want them to get their closure. So I hope this turns out well. I hope and I don't hope that it turns out to be her, but I, I think the family needs some closure. Yeah, and you know, Al, speaking from a parent of three, seeing her family there, and then even hearing her friends say that they feel helpless and hopeless, they wanna go search. I mean, I would be in that lake, and I know that yeah. that's not the right thing to do, but you do feel helpless. Right, and that's, that's part of it. It's just somebody that you love, and it's your worst fear, somebody that you love in a place that you can't help them. And Jeff, I don't think you misspoke with what you just said. You don't want the, them, that to be the body that they find, but you do want the, the family to start to heal, because right now the family is in a state of just flux. They'll never be able to move on until they have a body, they have a ceremony, they have a chance to remember, to laugh, to love, to cry, to get all those emotions out so they can start to move forward, because I never knew this woman, but I'm sure she want the people that loved her the most to continue on with their life as best they could. Wow. Yeah, every every family's worst nightmare.